That three one. Oh, got him. Yeah, little, little. Never mind. Man, maybe not. I'm not sure. Oh, nice one. Real nice good one. one. I thought I had a little one. Coming at you? Yeah. Look at that. I got nice to spot lock it again. I just get off a spot lock. Ugh. I just got off a, off a spot lock. I moved 20 feet. And bingo. You get another one of these donkey kongs. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Hang on, I'll give you a nice little belly, belly wrap, gal. <clears throat> huh. Look at that. I got one. Where, you got doubled. yours? Yeah, we're doubled. We're doubled. I'm going to hold it and we'll see how big his is. I'm going to hold mine. <laughs> you got me. You definitely got me. But that was the second bite I had on that cast. So we're in a. Ah, we're you're on fishing dicks. <laughs> there we go. How about that? You know what's amazing to me? Y'all and I were just talking a second ago. We'll take a peek at his fish and I'll let this guy go. Considerably bigger. <laughs> Considerably. As you were saying. <laughs> Al and I were talking earlier about the springtime bite and how you get that water in the mid 50s and it's like you can turn and burn. And the thing with springtime fishing is there's a lot of places that don't have fish, period. But there's spots that have a ton of fish. Like we're on right now, I mean, we've caught a pile of fish and I don't know, three boat lengths of water. So having a bait that you can cover a ton of water with that moves horizontally is absolutely critical because there can be miles of shoreline with nothing and then there's a little spot that's got a pile of fish. And you know, horizontal baits in the mid 50s just seem to outperform just about every other presentation, whether it's a crankbait like this, a rattle bait, you know, a shad wrap, even jerk baits, of course, are dynamite now. The next warm snap we get, this water jumps in the mid 50s. This bite, it's over. This is a pre-spawn deal. It's when it's at its hottest and it is unbelievably effective. This is such a sweet spot. I gotta show you what this, what this looks like here on the bird. You can see this is a big, shallow, weedy bay with not a lot of features in it, except for what we're fishing. Check this out. This is the rock pile that I'm showing here. This is the mega imaging now, and you can see how detailed this is. There's a fish actually right there. All weeds, fish sitting on the weed edge, and then look at this rock. This is a hard rock line here. It's a big, flat rock. Look at this. Boom. Just amazing. And we've got boulders on both sides of us. You can see a few fish tucked in there. So I've run side imaging for years, but now with this mega stuff, what I compare it to is going from watching SD TV to HD TV. Look at the detail in this, all the rocks, all the weeds. I mean, it's just amazing the structure that you can see down there. No wonder there's fish here. When you get an angle right, it's amazing on, on how important an angle can be. Like we're spot locking right where we hit those fish. Now we know the structure a little, little bit. We've been, been on here before. So we know where the spot on the spot is where you got those rims of extremely big boat. There you go. Well, like that on spot again. on the spot? <laughs> I'm saving the big ones for you. I'm just cleaning out all these bucks right now. Oh wow, there's a school of them with them. School, usually you see smallmouth with smallmouth, but I'd say we're in a good spot. There was a couple other largies, or maybe they were smallmouth with them. They said, I like that bait. I like it, I like it. I mean, they're chunky though, this time of year. You don't have mine. to be. And he's got one. All right. Doubles. I, oh, dear. I, you you, you, you had a hot run go in there. Ooh, this is another nice one. That is another giant. So I think the front of the boats where the big ones are in the back is where the little ones are. The spot lock position you chose is interesting. <laughs> it's so much fun, fun, fun. This is one of those times where you get all these big fish piled up that window of time where you can get on a mega load of them like this. You, you know, and, and they're, they're really staged up here. That next warm snap that they're talking next week coming in, yeah, yeah, it'll, get, it'll be a game changer. These fish will abandon 
this rock finger we're at out in the middle of the lake. You look around this rock in the middle of the lake on a rock lip ridge. They're gonna end up going all the way back into the shallow water here pretty soon and, and get ready to play.